Did the inventor of the car ever imagine that we'd be stuck in so much traffic? Well, what if we could fly above it all in an air taxi? Would you want to ride? If that can cut traffic down as quick as possible and get me from one side of town, I would totally take it, definitely. For millions of people living in Los Angeles, that pipe dream may become a reality. Oh, mira, ¿qué está pasando? ¿Qué, qué hay en el cielo? Esto es una locura, nunca había visto nada. I don't know what it is. It's the crazy thing I have ever seen in my life. Rodrigo Garcia accidentally captured this brave commuter cutting across a park towards downtown Los Angeles. And I turn my head and I say, see a magic car flying around, around me, around my head. That was a crazy moment. What Mr. Garcia doesn't realize is that his sighting may reveal a rumored autonomous human drone taxi service launched recently People by German company Movil. Movil CEO Robert Heinrich is tight-lipped about the pilot program. We do, we, we, we do a lot of stuff in our labs, but uh, I'm actually not supposed to disclose um, all the activities that we have. What we do know is that Movil, along with Amazon and Google, are all testing the airspace for cargo, communication, and now cabs. Well, first of all, you're going to have to figure out at what level do hobbyists and enthusiasts stop at, let's say 90 feet or 100 feet, and then what level above that, below the federally allowed commercial aviation level. So you have about four or 500 feet that you'll be able to allow for human taxis via drones. Movil also operates a more grounded service, Car2Go. Car2Go lets people pick out a car in their area, use it for as long as they like, and park it where they like. Statistics show a person can spend as much as four and a half years of their lives in traffic. That may sound like a lot, but when you consider that a person can own a car for 50 or 60 or even more time, that's a lot of time that a car is parked in a driveway doing nothing. Movil is using some of that data and exploring other options using unusual machines in unusual ways that could lead to the future of transportation. So how about moving to space. Chief Technical Officer Helmut Ritzer is staying ahead of what industry space? trends. Uh, I think there's a real paradigm shift coming with taking the driver out of the loop. Ritzer collaborates with a multidisciplinary team using transportation science, design, and business analysis to develop drone taxis and new approaches to navigation. You know, if you are looking for invention in Stuttgart, um, our routing algorithms can calculate a path that directly goes through all dangerous areas in Stuttgart. And virtual reality. Introducing augmented reality or different innovations like that, changing the experience while you travel, will actually overcome that physics of transportation or mobility. A commuter experience that's quickly moving from science fiction to science fact is clearing the way to the future of transportation that's hovering just over the next horizon.